you're looking for low-cost real estate, you're trying to get your feet wet, but you don't have a lot of cash to work with, you're going to want to watch today's show. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise. You're watching Holton Wise TV. So if you are trying to start, build, or grow your real estate portfolio, if you are investing in real estate uh, that you think is too expensive and you're looking for cheaper real estate, if you're living in a high-class area and you're looking to invest out of state, all of those are reasons that you want to subscribe here to Holton Wise TV because we help folks just like you. And today I'm working with my man, Bill Al. Bill, you are an investor from Kansas City, and what you currently got me looking for is a property that you can get in, get a tenant, and you don't have to do a lot of upfront repairs, right? You're not trying to do a lot of upfront repairs, and I'm going to be filming several for you, sending them over to you today, the first of which is one I looked at for somebody previously. They didn't do the deal, and I thought it might work for you. This is a little bit different than what you uh, were talking about, though. This is... What I like to call the slow motion burr, right? Okay, the burr strategy. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. Okay, that is the opposite of what you asked me for, right? That is the opposite. You said you won't want to do a lot of repairs up front. The burr strategy requires you to buy it in cash, do a bunch of renovations, then refinance after the fact, okay? But this one, this is like in the middle, okay? This is like the best of both worlds. This is a cheap property that I don't think is going to appeal to investors because the tenant's paying way below market, and it won't appeal to owner occupants because there's a tenant in there. So what you could do is what I like to call the slow motion bird, right? I'm going to show you the numbers as an actual bird deal so you can see the type of return you can get. But remember, the property isn't really all that distressed. We already have a tenant in there, so you could very well go in at that 40 k price point bill just right off the bat and only need to put down 25%, which would only be $10,000, right? And then you could just work with that tenant and continually raise their rent till eventually they move out. So uh, the repairs uh, eventually to get a market rate tenant, as you'll see in the footage in a minute here, uh, will be needed. You will need to do those, but you don't have to do them up front. So I figured it was worth sending to you. So after you watch that footage, let me know if you'd like to make an offer. This particular property is not going to be appealing to the two types of people that can buy it, okay? And what I mean by that, this house, two kinds of people could buy this house. People like you, Mike, people who are real estate investors. They want to buy it for monetary gain. And people who want to live in the house, right? It's a house. That's what houses are for, right? People to live in. I think both of those people are not going to like this house. Why? Because it's got a tenant in there, and that tenant ain't paying shit, okay? Now, it doesn't look like a bad house at all, all right? It, it looks like a nice, fine home, okay? It's a little dated, so we're going to need to do some uh, work on the bird deal, but it's just going to be like a little 20 k cosmetic reno. No big deal, right? Uh, I think that's actually carpet in the bathroom. It, it's either a really big-ass rug or carpet, but about 20 k uh, We'll be able to get this thing looking spick and span, right? Yeah, full, you know, agreeable gray walls, neutral flooring, no carpet in the bathroom, you know, matching kitchen and bath, right? You're an existing client of Holton Wise. You understand the whole shebang, right? But we need to buy it first, of course, and we need to get the numbers down to make all that make sense, right? But I think we could do that because I think we could lowball these people. By the way, the address is 444 Clinton Avenue, Elyria. Just hit the market three days ago. But again, I think everybody's going to hate it, right? There's a tenant in that house. So owner-occupants, they already no longer interested. They're like, dude, well, I can't live there. That dude lives there, right? And then people like you, people like you are going to pass it up. Why? Because, Mike, I don't think you're willing to pay 55000 for a tenant who's only paying $500 to live in this house, are you? No, of course not, because that's, that's fucking ridiculous. Who in the hell rents out a full single-family home for $500? I don't know. But that's going to allow me and you to have a good shot at getting your lowball offer accepted. So I want to try to shoot an offer to them of 40 k cash. And then, of course, as I said, dude, when it comes time to doing that reno, it's only going to be 20 k right? You know you know the drill on a nice little cosmetic reno like that. So that would be all in, 60 k At that point, 
we can get a market paying Section 8 tenant paying nine hundo a month, which is going to be just shy of $5,000 a year in average NOI. And this is where it gets good, of course. This is where things really get nice from a return standpoint with the Burr strategy. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, right? I'm sure anybody out there uh, watching any type of content on real estate investing has heard about the Burr strategy, right? Hey lenders, our investors are looking to work with you. Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. So if we're all in for 60, but now we have a renovated house with neutral decor throughout a $900 section eight tenant, vinyl allure flooring in the kitchen and the bath, you know, we bring it up to 2021 cosmetics, right? That property should be worth about 75K. So the bank's going to go ahead and give you 75% of that 75K, which is 56,250. But remember, brother, to get it there, you only needed to put in 60K. So that means you're only going to have 3750 into this deal. And after you pay off your new mortgage of 56,250, that's uh, about $2,000, a little over $2,000 clear in your pocket every single year on average, which is a 54% return on your money. Now, one thing to note, too, Mike. We don't have to necessarily have you drop the 40 and then immediately drop the 20 and do the reno, right? If you want, you can kind of slow it out, right? You got the tenant paying 500. They're on a month-to-month -month lease. Uh, once you take it over, if you don't want to deal with the turnover, don't want to deal with the renovation, not worried about doing the refi immediately, let's shoot them a new lease at like 650, right? Who's moving out of the house at 650? There ain't no freaking houses that are renting for 650. And then maybe next year, shoot them up to eight, right? And then try to work them up to 900. You might be able to get them up to 900 before you even have to do this renovation. But one thing is for certain, eventually that tenant's going to move out, right? That you it's pretty unlikely you're going to get a tenant that's going to live in your property uh, for the rest of their lives, guys. That's just not how the game works, right? So maybe you keep them in there for a few years, then you do the renovation, then you do the rehab, then, or uh, the renovation, then the refinance, right? Maybe you do that later. It's up to you, man. We could slow mo it. We could do it all at once, right? We can give the guy a notice, tell him to get out. We could say, hey, dog, you got to pay 900 or you got to go. It's up to you, man. Normally... I like to keep people that are already in there in there as long as it can't so we don't create artificial turnover. But at 500 bucks a month for a whole freaking house, I mean, we can't justify that, right? I mean, if market rent's nine and the dude's paying like seven and a quarter, I'd be like, yo, bro, let's just keep dude like living there for a while. Like, why spend the money, right? Like, just collect the money. But, dude, 500 for a whole house, I mean, we got to do something there. So I'd probably try to kick them up, maybe like 150, see what happens because uh, you know you got that burr. Uh, coming in the near future. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.